Hi, Charles Moman here. Well, today I want to tell you all about this small, compact lithium battery pack from All Powers. It's 372 watts, and uh, this used to be considered big. Now it's considered kind of small. If the big range are the 500 watt and the 1,000 watts, guess what? All Powers has a, a 500 and a 1,000 watt as well. But today we're looking at their 372 watt unit. And this size unit actually has a lot of great uses. And today I'll be showing you, giving you some examples of that. And thanks for watching. Well, let's take a look at this small and tidy unit. It is rock solid. It's heavy. It's got a great handle on it. And uh, let me go over uh, the ports and I'll, I'll get the camera up closer and you can take a look at um, everything you have to use here, just like in most lithium batteries. Well, as I mentioned before, it's a 372 watt battery capacity. It's got a pure sine wave, which is always important to everyone. Uh, it's got two AC outputs, three USB, and one USB-C, which is the 60 watt max, and then uh, DC outputs as well. The size is 8.11 inches by 6.5 by 4.33 inches, and the weight is 8.6 pounds, so it's a solid little guy. One other really nice thing about it is on the top, uh, if you have a phone that is made to do uh, wireless charging, you can lay that phone right on top of here, and uh, it's rated to be co um, compatible with about 99% of the phones out there that uh, can do wireless charging. I think there are other devices that can do that as well. So you can just lay it on here, have it turned on, and it will charge your phone right up. Also did want to mention that on um, the input over here, we've also got an input for uh, plugging in your solar. Uh, so if you're running a solar panel, uh, and you can use any solar panel to run it. All Powers does uh, have their own brand as well. But it's got an Anderson connector here on the end, and so you can plug it in. And then it's on the end, it's also got um, the 12-volt port. And they assured me this is a regulated port, and you want a regulated 12-volt port. I'm going to point out something that a lot of the reviewers, they like to make fun. Here's these two lights, and they go, oh, this is a heavy flashlight. You know what? If it's nighttime and I have a flat tire on this camper on my truck, and I need to use the 12-volt port to run a, a little air compressor, or I'm changing a tire, I'm going to like that I can set this down, and I've got these lights already there because I'm using this to power the air compressor. So they, people like to make fun of them, but they can certainly be handy. And I like the fact that it's got two. It'll, it'll light up your tire or whatever you're doing really, really well. So it's simple to use. We've got um, our power button, and then you uh, uh, hold this down to turn uh, the Bluetooth on so you can make the connection to your phone. DC and AC button, and it has uh, a small place here with two fuses inside. So the LCD display is pretty standard with units of this size. Um, in the upper left corner, it does show you something that's different. It shows the uh, Bluetooth mode, and uh, in the manual it explains which kind of phone you have, how you would connect with it, but it shows that icon. The large number on the left is the battery's best estimate as how long it will keep going until it gets to zero capacity, until you've completely depleted it, which you really don't want to do with uh, lithium batteries. You want to try not to go much below 20 if you can. Um, but remember, if you are running something like a 12-volt refrigerator, that number is going to change greatly when its compressor is on and then when it's off. So you've got a, a typical battery icon with segments, but there is a percentage under it. And um, that's great, because some of them just have a segmented battery, but they don't show you a percentage. And then there to the right of it, it shows the watts coming in or the watts going out. And then it has other indicators showing if you've got the USB on, the DC, or the AC um, outlets running. This uh, battery has something that I haven't seen with uh, the other lithium batteries. Um, this has got an app, so let me talk about that app for just a bit. I went to the App Store and uh, downloaded it to my iPhone, and it allows me to turn the ports off and on. I can even turn those lights on. And then I can turn on the 12 volt USB and it tells me the power in and the power out and how long it would take to empty this, to drain it down to zero at the current use that it's using. Now, as far as charging it, it's just like a lot of the lithium units out there. You can charge it from your wall outlet. You could charge it from solar. 
and you can also charge it from your 12 volt po port of your car. And well, let's uh, move into my camper. And of course, this video is not about a runaway camper, but uh, I want you to see that uh, nice little sleeping cabin we call it. And uh, it's kind of empty right now because we just cleaned it out after our trip. But what do you know? I've got the all power 372 watt unit already running the LED lights. So there's a really good example when we stop at rest areas or a Cracker Barrel or Walmart and we want to have the lights on uh, before we go to bed. This would be a great use of this. And uh, um, I've got a few other examples here. I've got a pair of Sony headphones that I could charge. The orange round puck is actually a Skyroam hotspot. I've got a USB uh, charger for the batteries for this camera or my uh, my wife's camera, we could use her charger for that. And then, of course, my phone. And then uh, in here, let me show you, here's a blanket. It's kind of a, a lap blanket that my wife uses in the car in cold weather. And she's very cold-natured. And look, it's a 12-volt, so it would plug in to uh, this all-powers unit. And you could uh, warm your bed up. And then we really like this um, heated mattress pad that my wife uses. And it's also 12-volt so you could run it and you again you have to check the watts that each device uses to see how long you could run um, with the all power 372 but um, it can run a lot of devices like that now I'm looking at the air conditioner and that's always what people want to know about and you have to get a pretty large power bank or set of batteries to run an air conditioner and we have a little um, electric heater that we use. It's like 1500 watts. That obviously isn't going to work. But another thing that you can run with this very easily is this is a Maxair uh, reversible fan that we use and I have a passive vent back here and I got to tell you this is our first trip using it. It pulls air through this camper just great especially if you open the back window. Man that curtain comes flying uh, toward this way because it's uh, pulling the air out. You can bring it in but you use it to pull the air out and you can really cool this down and this lithium can definitely run this for quite a few hours, a long, long time. And so uh, there's just a few examples of uh, the typical use for uh, a lithium battery like the All Power 372. Well, as I was doing my final editing of this video, um, I realized there were a couple other things I meant to say and I didn't do it, so let me uh, get that in right now. Of course, the rated power of this is really 300 watts, but it's listed as 372, but they, they always have the, the official rated power. It's the less, but it's actually 372, and it has a peak of 500 watts for a, a very short time if you got something with uh, needing more power. Um, it's, sometimes you can get away with uh, more than you expect. Um, I mentioned the charging ways that it could... Um, you can recharge this uh, all powers lithium, a wall charger, car charger, and solar. And um, you can only have one of those going at a time. And the wall charger and the car charger are about seven to eight hours from zero. And um, they, they say with their solar of 50 watt, it would take eight hours. Um, if you had 100 watt, about six hours. And um, so all that varies on the sun and all of that. And as I mentioned earlier, um, you would most of these batteries, you really want to be careful, and it's best not to run any kind of battery down to zero. So um, you can do it now and then, but it's better try not to let it go below 20%. Um, it does have pass-through charging, and, and what that means is you could be charging a phone or whatever and charging it being via the wall outlet or whatever at the same time. Now understand you're using power as you're bringing power in so it would take a little longer but uh, you can do that and a lot of people want to know about the uh, charge controller inside and this does have an MPPT which is much more efficient so there's just a little bit more detail that I wanted to to give you. Well there you go there's the look at the All Powers 372 watt lithium battery pack. I brought the camper back out of the backyard so I can put it in back into the garage. And uh, I hope you like this and you'll check them out. And remember, they also have a 500 watt and a 1000 watt that I think I'll be reviewing before too long. So keep watching. And again, subscribe if you'd like to. Thanks for watching.